So in this example, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at how we can utilize infinite series, um, or actually the sum of terms of an infinite series, to be able to evaluate an interval, um, at, le at least a definite interval. And it's actually pretty easy, because what we're going to do is we're going to write out some of the terms in the series, we're going to integrate each of the terms, and then we're going to use the fundamental theorem of calculus to approximate the value. All right, so let's take a look at an example of zero to nine of arc tan x squared dx, all right? And we wanna to try to approximate this to a magnitude of x to the minus eight, all right? So here's what we're gonna do first, all right? Let's take a look at what arc tangents power series is. So we're gonna go all the way back to the top of our list. And we see that the arc tangent is minus one to the n, x to the two n plus one divided by two n plus one. So it looks pretty close to the sine function, except it's not two n plus one factorial. All right, so let's just go back down. I'm going to copy this. And so arctan of x is equal to the series n equals 0 to infinity minus 1 to the n x to the 2n plus 1 divided by 2n plus 1. But we're looking for arctan of x squared. So what we're going to do is we're just going to substitute x with x squared. So this is going to be arctan of x squared, and that's going to be equal to the series n equals 0 to infinity minus 1 to the n x squared to the 2n plus 1 divided by 2n plus 1. And then if we start going through and, and um, putting 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in there, all right, so if I substitute 0 back in, that's going to be just x squared, all right? And then if I substitute one back in, that's going to be x to the six over three. And then, if, so what I'm doing is I'm just writing out a few of the terms in the series, right? And so if I substitute two back in, that's going to be um, x squared to the fifth. So that's going to be x to the 10th over five, and then x to the 14th over seven. And then finally, I'll just say, one more term, x to the 18th over nine. Now there are more terms, all right? But again, um, all I did was I plugged in n equals zero, get to this and n equals one and n equals two and n equals three and n equals four, okay? So that's how I got all of those terms. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna integrate each of those terms from zero to 0 0.9, okay? So now, I'm gonna say that the integral from zero to 0 0.9 of arc tan of x squared dx is gonna be approximately the integral from zero to 0 0.9 of x squared minus x to the sixth over three, and then x to the 10th over five, and then x to the 14th over seven, and then x to the 18th over nine dx. Now, at the end, we're gonna approximate this and we're gonna, we're gonna also get the um, solution approximated from Wolfram Alpha, and we're gonna see how close we get, all right? And if we, if we get an error that's going to be greater than 10 to the negative eighth, we'll just put a few more terms in there, okay? So when we evaluate, this is going to be x cubed over three, so we just integrate uh, minus x to the seventh over 21 plus x to the 11th over 55 and then x to the 15th over 105 and then plus x to the 19th and 19 times nine. Um, that's gonna be like, uh, I'm just gonna cheat. I don't feel like doing it out longhand. Okay, 171, all right. And that's gonna go from zero to 0 0.9. All right, now the good news is when we substitute zero back in, it's gonna wipe all these terms out. So really all I have to do is figure out 0 0.9 to the third over three minus 0 0.9 to the seventh over 21 plus 0 0.9 to the 11th over 55 minus 0 0.9 to the 15th over 105 plus 0 0.9 to the 19th divided by 171. Now I'm just gonna type this in my calculator 
And then we're going to see how close we get to the actual answer, or at least the approximation. Okay, so I'm going to go back to Desmos, and I'm just going to type that in there. Okay, so um, 0.9 raised to the third over three. Um, and then minus, so I'm just gonna bring this over so I can see what I'm typing in here. So it's gonna be 0.9 raised to the seventh divided by 21 plus 0.9 raised to the 11th divided by 5. And then minus 0.9 raised to the 15th divided by 105. And then finally, plus 0.9, sweep this a little bit over, raise the 19th, and we're gonna divide that by 171. All right, so um, after all of that, we get 0.224758, all right? So I'm just gonna copy that. So we're gonna get 0.227, or 2247, excuse me. So 2247, 587082. All right. Now, and if we really wanted to, we could do these by hand. If we really, really wanted to, it would be a pain, but at least we could evaluate that. Okay. So this is the value from the series so far. Okay. So um, now, using a computer algebra system, okay, um, what we can see is if I go through and figure that out. So I'm going to say integrate our arctan of x squared, where x goes from 0 to 0 0.9. All right, and let's see how close this got, if it got close at all, OK? So get 22452. All right, um, let's see if we can get any more out of that. No, OK, so let me go back. I was hoping we could get a little bit more out of it, but that's OK. All right, um, and so if we go over, so we got 22452, two, five, two. all right. So we're not as close as we'd like to be, all right? So we got 224 and then five here, all right? So what we're probably gonna have to do is maybe get a couple more terms, um, but that's okay, because we're gonna hold on to everything that we've done and we're just gonna add in the extra terms, okay? So we just need a few more. Okay, um, and so remember this was n equals zero, one, two, three, four. So let's let n equal five and six and plug it back into here. Okay, so just a couple more. All right, so if I did that, that would be x to the 22 over 11, All right? And then finally, uh, or minus, excuse me, that would be minus x to the 22nd over 11. And then finally, plus x to the 26 over 13. All right, so let's just add those in. All right, so um, now we're going to integrate 0 to 0 0.9 of those other two terms. All right, so they were x22 negative over 11, and then x to the 26 over 13 dx. All right. Um, and that's going to be opposite x23. And then we have 11 times 23, which should be 243, 253. Sorry, didn't carry one. 253. And then we have x to the 27th divided by 13 times 27. We have three or something. So um, 13 times 27, 351. from 0 to 0 0.9, all right? And then we'll just go ahead and add those in, all right? So that's going to be equal to the opposite of 0 0.9 to the 23rd divided by 253 plus 0 0.9 to the 27th over 351 plus the previous, okay, which was this number right here. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back to my calculator and I'm just gonna add in those terms. So we had 0.9 raised to the 23 
divided by 253, right? or minus, excuse me. Okay. And then finally, we had plus 0.9 raised to the 27th, I believe it was. Let me verify that just to make sure. And then 351. So 0.9 raised to the 27th divided by 351. All right. So um, now that's going to give us, and we look at our calculator, we bring that back over. So now we get, nope, wrong one. So that's going to be 224574. Okay, so that's going to be approximately 0.224574. All right. Um, and then we'll check that in a second. So 2245740632. All right. Um, and if we go back up a little bit, we had 22452. Okay, so 0.22452. So this is a pretty good answer. All right. Of course, we could just keep adding in terms if we wanted to, um, but this should be sufficient. Okay, so that's how we can, but notice that they're really close to one another. All right. And that's the whole point is that we can use our um, power series, integrate term by term, and then just go through and substitute those values back in. All right. So we'll have one more example in the next um, video, and then we'll be done with this section.